Hey, what's up, everybody? It's TJ. I'm back here with Steve from Lindsay Windows, our expert window guru. All things nerdy about windows. Plus, he knows a lot about other construction stuff. He's been doing it for a long time. Or he'll at least tell you he does. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to talk about the different types of windows you could have. And more importantly, I kind of want to talk about you know, CFM ratings, what we need to hit for certain windows, because it makes a difference depending on you do single, double, casement type windows. So I guess tell me kind of some of the standard window options and then what you're looking at or numbers you need to hit to make sure you're putting a, a good window in a home. And that's a great, great question, TJ, because, um, you know, a lot of people are just taking what, what their builder says they're putting in their home, but they're not realizing that they have choices in, in the type of window. Mm -hmm. The most window manufacturers can do a single hung, can do a double hung, can do a casement and awning. Mm -hmm. And and what are the differences? What does that mean to me as a homeowner? So um, just aesthetically, mm -hmm. you know, obviously there is a meeting rail on a double hung mm -hmm. um, giving you that type of look versus an awning or a casement where it's an unobstructed view throughout the size of that window. Yeah. So that's that's a choice. Do you want that meeting rail? Do you not want that meeting rail? Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is air infiltration. So how does that differ between the two? So the industry makes us as a window manufacturer have a 0.3 CFM rating or better. Mm -hmm. We have to comply by that to to, to meet ASTM standards. So anyways, just an, as an example, our casement awning lines have a 0 0.01 CFM rating, which is almost nothing. Yeah. You can't put nothing, so you point, put, put 0 0.01. Oh, right. And, and that's just due to how that's manufactured and how we have the multiple weather stripping system that pulls that window tight. So you're getting almost yeah. no air, air infiltration. Conversely, on a double hung or a single hung, there's a lot more moving parts and it's a lot more difficult as a manufacturer to reduce that air infiltration to those low, low levels. So like I said, the industry makes this be at a 0.3 or less, but depending on size, the bigger the window, the, the more it might go up. So I'll give you a range. We're probably looking at a 0 0.09 to a 0 0.15, 0 0.16. So more than double uh, better than the industry standard, mm -hmm. um, but obviously a lot more than a casement. And that, and so it's, I don't want to be scary with that number, yeah. but because it's out of large amount of air, but it's, yeah. it's the difference. Um, and so that, that does make a difference in, in the difference between a single hung and a double hung. Obviously, if the double hung, the top sash moves on a single hung, only the bottom sash moves. Yeah. So you'll have slightly better air infiltration rates on a single hung versus yeah. a double hung, but it's a, it's a smaller gap. Yeah. So the, like Steve said, the numbers aren't scary overall when you look at just that. But if you've seen some of our other videos, we talk about like the whole house though, right? So if you have all these little pinholes, yeah, it doesn't seem like a big deal. But all of a sudden, if you have a hole, when you add those together, that's the size of a five gallon bucket. Yeah. That that can add up to a lot of air. So if people are just doing the bare minimum, and then you take that by how many windows you have, and then you can have something else that's literally 300 times better than the bare minimum. Um, that makes a big difference across the whole house. And I want to point out too is that CFM rate is what's you know tested at at the brand new point of the window. Mm -hmm. So the problem with a lot of windows uh, is that they don't reinforce those windows, and over time they can deflect. Right. So without the reinforcement, like we talked, that we have the fiberglass reinforcements inside the sashes right. that keeps our window stout not only today but twenty years from now. Yeah. So that all those those elements, those interlocks, those weather strips. They're all making the same contact that they're supposed to make right. down the road as well versus other brands that don't do those things and that window can bow and flex and now all of a sudden this meeting rail is a three sixths of, three sixteenths of an inch inward yep. creating a, a C shape and now those elements aren't contacting as much and now your CFM rate yeah. is God knows what. So right. Something to consider as well as, as far as the quality of the window. Yeah, and what just hitting on quality, it just works out that this is sitting here. <laughs> um, but when we're talking about that, right, because we know some of the competitors or when you guys are out looking at windows, they don't have the fiberglass insert here that's helping hold that rigidity together. What they'll tell you is they're going to do this foam here like this, and that's the way that they're holding that rigidity together. And I, I don't know specifically in the window world, but I'll hear people tout foam. And I listen, I like foam if it's installed perfectly how it's supposed to be. The mixtures are perfect and all of that. 
but even foam has issues too, right? If I'm using foam for structural stability, I don't know that that's really me personally, what I want to do. Yeah. Now we put it in some of the windows that we're doing, but that's not my, my selling point isn't that the foam is helping structurally your window. Correct. Yeah. It's, it's not there to add any support for us as a window manufacturer. We're doing that with the fiberglass, mm -hmm. but, um, but it does help make the window a little more rigid so if you didn't have those fiberglass reinforcements mm -hmm. you might want to consider putting that in your window to yeah. give it a little bit more rigid rigidity yeah although it's not doing you know a yeah. ton. absolutely so again this is kind of some more nerdy stuff is the cfm writing somewhere on is that on the window stickers you can get it it's not always advertised okay. it's not always public but if you ask you can get it okay so people should be looking for a lower CFM rating. The lower, the better. Yep, absolutely. So again, guys, if you have more nerdy questions for Steve, make sure you're reaching out. We'll do some more videos with them. Um, I'm really hoping, depending on when the video comes out, that Steve actually gets us bulletproof glass so we can shoot at it. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it until we do. Because <laughs> I feel like everyone's going to watch that. Just comment and say, I want to see bulletproof glass. How many do we have to get? A hundred? Sure, let's say 100. Yeah, that'll work. That's oh my God, that's going to be easy to get. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, make sure you're liking, comment, sharing. And uh, as always, don't forget to raise your standard. We'll talk to you soon.